Since this topic is often requested, I bring you all of my scorpions. And in Dark Den we don't have a lot of scorpions, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 scorpions that I housed individually. But we also have two communal setups, this one houses 5 scorpions and this one houses 11 scorpions. And in this video I will show you all of them, at least I will try to show you all of them, but I can't really guarantee that. And we are starting with three of these, these are actually scorpions that are native to Croatia. They are most likely same species because they all come from same locality. And they are some sort of Euscorpio species, you see. This one is actually munching on, the, on some freshly molted roach. And here is the third one. Now, judging by appearance, this one could maybe, maybe be a different species. I'm not sure because it's hard to tell, it's really hard to tell. But they all come from same spot, so they are most likely same species. And surprisingly, these guys and girls, they live for really, really long time, much longer than I expected. I have them for now two or maybe even two and a half years, which is really something that I didn't expect. Hey, can you start munching on that roach so we can see some munching action, huh? Or just stay there, whatever, we don't care. And there is nothing else that I can really tell you about them, yeah. So these are first scorpions and they are most likely adults, but I can't really know for sure because they never molted in my care and I guess the time will tell. Now I will show you one communal enclosure. These cool looking scorpions, they are called Titius stigmonus and they are actually an offspring from a female that I had. And the funny thing is I never paired that female, but she still had offspring because they are the species that are, I will most likely butcher the name, but Parthenogenesis. I think that's the word when an animal can basically clone itself, it can multiply without needing to mate. And in total I have five of them, you see, one, two, three, four, five. Originally I had eight, whoa, <laughs> what are you doing? But I'm not sure if they, if they ate each other or if they just died, but I never found any, any dead scorpions, so they either cannibalize or they just ate the one that died naturally. I can't really know that, but I never noticed any aggression between them. Not a big fan of light, <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to hide. So I guess in the future, once these are matured, we will have a ton of new scorpions. <laughs> that will be fun, right? Now, next, oh, I will take some desert scorpions, and actually a big one. This one is called Androctonus Leo, Leo what? Leo Willey, yes, and it is a female. Check her out. She got really, really fat tail, and of course she is kind of deadly. <laughs> Let me just get her to move a bit. Boop. Hello. I just want you to stretch for people so they can see you better. And she's kind of fat, right? I think this is about the maximum size that this species gets. But you see, they aren't really aggressive. I mean, she is annoyed, but she's not really striking or anything. She is a chilled girl. <laughs> okay, but let's just leave her alone now. But of course, when it comes to this species and the next one that I will show you, I need to watch my fingers because their venom to me, it is not really deadly, but for someone with weak heart, it would be deadly indeed. And of course, to babies, yeah. This one is called Parabutus Lecteri. And let me just show it. I got it a while ago, but it was growing extremely, extremely slow. I mean, it wasn't growing basically at all. And it was a really bad eater, but after I added, let me just show you. I have this section for my desert scorpions that got additional heat through this lamp. And ever since I made that, all of my desert scorpions started to eat more and they actually started to molt, which is a great thing. Great thing indeed. Let me return him his height. There, you can hide now, don't worry. Now I will show you the next one. This one is Leurus Haengi and it is also some type of desert scorpion. So the same thing happened with added heat, it started to eat more and actually molt. So hell yeah, if you have problems with your scorpions, the same problem, now you know what is up. They need some desert sun. And the last one from this stack, Androctonus crassicauda. But I will also need to remove its hide. Sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys. 
I just want to briefly show you. And this one is really, really mad usually, always walking with its tail high up. Like, if you touch me, I'm gonna sting you attitude all the time. It is funny to see that attitude from a scorpion that is so small, but equally deadly. Yep, yep, yep. But now I'm going to show you the most deadliest enclosure out of all enclosures in the dark den. It is definitely this one. And if you're wondering why it is an empty enclosure, oh no, it is not. I'm going to show you now. This enclosure contains, or at least it should contain, 11 death stalkers and oh you see them these all are death stalkers they are not happy with me removing this core bark but now i need let me just first check if there is not any death stalker on the actual cork bark there's just one roach but i guess that's it but just in case i'm going to keep an eye out i can also remove this you see there is more under the rock but now there are two death stalkers on this rock so I'm just going to return it and I will record the ones that are outside. You see these little guys they are the dead stalkers one of the deadliest if not the deadliest scorpion in the world but same thing as all other scorpions desert scorpions that are more that got more potent venom they aren't deadly for healthy adults so if they if they sting me most likely I would be fine except strong pain vomit and all of that stuff. And currently there is 11 of them inside. Last time when I was checking all 11 worlds was inside. So in the comments I read that some are skeptical about them being communal. But the breeder that sold me them said that they are communal and so far so good. But we will see what will happen once they actually start to molt. Because that there is a chance that they might eat each other during the molt. But the time will actually tell. Yeah. <laughs> You see, they often like fight, but hmm. You see how this one is moving his stinger? Yeah. <laughs> scary, scary. Check the interactions. And there are some bugs that are crawling on the sand. Do you see it? What the hell are you? I have no idea what is that. Also, one other thing that I want to say in regards to these guys. In the near future, like really soon, in maybe oh, two weeks or so, I'm going to make a new bigger enclosure for them. And what I want to use, I want to put this awesome skull that I received from a subscriber inside of their enclosure because Deadly Communal definitely deserves a skull of a dead animal inside of the enclosure, right? It would be fitting. That is going to be an awesome build, can't wait to do it. If you have good memory, you might remember that I had another communal uh, that was housing Titius Mana that I recently bought. But unfortunately, I no longer had them because I kinda messed up. I read that they should be kept fairly humid, so I was keeping them fairly humid. And then I noticed that one died. So I decided to let the substrate dry a bit, and when the substrate dried, the rest died. It seems that they are really sensitive to the amount of humidity that you provide them, because I have Titius stigmonus, they are from same genus, and I keep half of the substrate wet and half of the substrate dry, and they are fine. So I definitely messed up with Titius mana. But it is what it is now. Next scorpion. And it is actually going to be about my biggest scorpion. We can also try to handle her maybe. That is if I can get her to come outside. Hello, hello girl. She's a big girl, you see. Go, go. I would like to show you to the people. To the people that haven't already seen you. Look how, how awesome this scorpion is. This is an Asian forest scorpion. It is some Heterometrus species. When I bought her, she was only labeled with genus name, so I don't really know what is the species name. Sometimes when she crawls around the enclosure, I can just open it and she would come out on her own. Then I can easily pick her up. But you see, to get her outside like this, I need to mess up with her a lot and I don't know if it's worth it. Come big girl, it will be, it will be really quick. You are just going to pause for the thumbnail because people like to click when they see stuff on on hand maybe i can get her oh this will be no no i need two hands i will get her on the cork bark and then i can take the cork bark that should be the best way oh she's starting to use her there now you can have a really really good look isn't she beautiful magnificent animal she's built like a tank you see <laughs> Beautiful animal. 
So, so pretty. Oof, I love Asian forest scorpions. But you see, she's not... Yeah, she's a bit defensive, but in the same time, she really tolerates me, to be honest. Ooh, this would be an awesome thumbnail and most likely the reason why you clicked on this video. <laughs> I think we bothered you enough, right? I'm <laughs> sorry for that. Now you can go. Thank you for being so sweet. <laughs> and a little fun fact. This lovely little guy, you see, this tiny scorpion, it is actually her baby. Not a long time she had plenty of babies and this is the last one that I have. The last one that I kept. And also the same thing, I never bred her. Most likely she was wild caught and had, I mean, was already pregnant when I got her and that's how I got the babies. And now this brings us to the last scorpion in the dark den and there is a reason why I have this black stuff. Scorpion actually dug a tunnel by the side of the enclosure. So now you will most likely be able to see... Oh no... No, there's just one pincer that you can see. Oh, and now you can't even see that. So rude. Maybe I can change that. No. I think that you could see it for a brief second, but in this enclosure, I will at least show you the enclosure. In this cool desert looking enclosure, we have Hadrurus arizonensis scorpion. The common name is giant desert scorpion. So this one should actually grow fairly large. And I started this burrow when I made this enclosure, but all of this, all of this tunnel that you could see, all of this, that is something that Scorpion dug on its own. And the funny thing is, this is actually really hard because this is made out of excavator clay and that comes in like, it is almost like a sand and then you mix it with water and then it hardens when it dries. And now it is hard as a rock, but Scorpion managed to dig through it without any problems. As you see, this whole tunnel that goes here and also down there and connects with the actual pre-made tunnel on front, it was all dug by that scorpion, which is really amazing. I don't know how it manages to... Actually, mm, I think... Mm, I'm not sure if I will be able to find the footage, but I think I recorded when it was like throwing the sand that it dug outside. I think that I have a clip of that. If I have, I am showing you now. If I don't have, sorry. But yeah, that was all of my scorpions. As you see, I don't really have a lot of them. Not nearly as much as I have tarantulas or spiders. But still, there are animals that I enjoy having because they are so unique, so different than the rest of the animals. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye! -bye.